I'm here today with Bear and uh, Bear's nanny <laughs> um, complains that Bear drags her different places. But I've only been out here just a few seconds with Bear and here's the leash. And um, let's go this way. the only talking I just said to a bear right now. I said, good job. I'm not asking for anything. The dog stops and I stop. Go forward. Let's go. I let the dog at least know through a hand technique. Or you can say, let's go. I do not recommend <laughs> hanging your leash like this. <laughs> I'm just doing it to show you the dog has no pressure from me at all. This is kind of called, you know, unleashed, and this, you know, I wouldn't wrap it around your neck. Don't do this home alone. Um, basically, what we started with, we allowed the dog to gently drift out in front of us, and then I would go like this with me, and I changed direction. See how the dog turned? With me, the dog will change direction. So, then the dog stopped. I literally only did that for maybe 60 seconds with this dog. I allow it to drift forward, and if the dog continues to go forward, I just, it's a gentle tug. This is a um, Leerberg, um, it's called a dominant dog collar. It just looks like a string. It is not a correction collar. It's not a correction collar at all, and it just puts a little bit of pressure on them to, to guide them. So this is a wonderful dog, but it can be strong if it's dragging you when you're walking. Also, before we left to go on the walk, He's offered to go potty, and he did. Then, when you go out and start teaching walking, don't allow your dog to use the bathroom all throughout the neighborhood. You don't use your neighbor's toilet, <laughs> so don't let your dog use their yards, their mailboxes. The next time I'm gonna offer him some potty time is after I've been out maybe walking 15 minutes, I'll find a spot that's a neutral public place to allow him, and I'll release him by saying, okay, or free in a high tone, and I'll ask, offer to go potty. If he chooses to not potty, we get right back into position of with me, and we go on the walk. He would then be, um, if this was early morning, he would be fed his breakfast after we get back from the walk that he earned while walking uh, with me. Um, but this is Bear, and uh, he's doing great, so we'll see you. Bye-bye. Okay.